were at least 20 years overdue. So keeping this promise to be able to protect children from mercury pollution is extremely important. New federal standards will regulate toxic emissions from coal-fired power plants, which doctors say puts locals, especially children, at risk. Impacts later on in life such as um, cognitive uh, difficulties, developmental delay, there have been re uh, some reports of cerebral palsy. The Environmental Protection Agency says the new rules will stop 90 percent of mercury and 80 percent of acid gas emissions, leading to better quality fish. In the Great Lakes region, people eat a lot of fish, and eating fish should be healthy. Uh, so if you have high levels of contaminants like mercury in fish, um, it really creates a problem. The new mercury and air toxic standards not only have the potential of reducing health risks in both children and adults, but it may actually also save families a lot of money. For every dollar companies spend to comply, the EPA says it could save families up to $9 in health care. However, the new rules will likely cost power plants $10 billion each year. Companies like First Energy have already announced plans to shut down four local power plants because of the ruling. But the FDA says the change will save more than 500 lives in Ohio each year, giving people a chance to enjoy local resources more. Because people want to eat the fish, because they like it, because they think it's good for them, but especially for children, um, it can be a real, real risk. In Cleveland, Annette Lawless, Box 8 News.